Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. We are once again in the midst of an election here in Canada, and of course, the Conservatives are still using language that says, you know what, we're going to try our damnness to privatize healthcare, even though we know the vast majority of Canadians are against that. It is beyond frustrating at this point. Aaron O'Toole recently made a little speech somewhere, and this is more or less what he had to say. I view innovation as a good thing. I trust the premiers to do what is best for patients in their provinces. If Saskatchewan, Alberta, Ontario, or Quebec want to innovate to provide better health care, I support that. Why? Because it gives Canadians more choice. The more choices Canadians have in health care, the better. It reduces wait times and it frees up more money to reinvest in health care. Now, for anyone paying attention, those are easily code words, you know, innovation and efficiencies are code words for we want to privatize this. And of course, you know, they're they're not making mention of the fact that the reason why healthcare times continue to suffer is because of constant conservative government after conservative government, be it federally or provincially, has made it all the more difficult to try and actually fund healthcare. And make it accessible so that, oh, look, see, it's not working right. You know, we're all trying to find the guy responsible for this. And so then they say, well, this is why we need to privatize it. See, it's just not working. Yeah, no wonder it's not fucking working. You sabotage it every fucking chance you get. And it doesn't even work to deliver what they claim it's going to do. Saskatchewan famously said, you know what? If we actually privatize uh, things and privatize MRIs, we'll be able to cut down wait times. Wait times have gone up. In terms of the most developed countries in the world, Canada is second last. We beat only the United States, which again, sadly, is the only one we seem to care about in this country. So long as we're better than the lowest possible bar to clear, that's fine for us. All these other nations, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Denmark, France, Britain, they all do better than us. And it's because their systems have not been as privatized as ours has been. That's the thing. A lot of people here in Canada don't recognize that our system has slowly but surely, piece by piece, been privatized or attempted to have been privatized over the decades. Because conservatives just cannot accept at the end of the day that many Canadians like having socialized healthcare, even though it's not incomplete. Hence why we're still fighting decades later over pharmacare, childcare, dental care, etc. Long-term care hasn't been nationalized yet, and look how bad that's been under the private sector. But no, privatization is fine. I am so sick and tired of conservatives doing this every chance they get. It's like a broken record at this point, and yet so many people, including people who vote conservative and yet rely on the current system, are actively voting in their own disinterest. If you vote conservative, you are actually voting for the privatization of healthcare, even though that may not be their official mandate, that's what they want to do because they don't give a shit about you and your livelihood or the livelihood of your friends and family. They care about dollar signs and people like Mike Harris. Oh, right. That former conservative premier of Ontario running Chartwell, one of the most profitable long-term care home like organizations here in Ontario and also suffering some of the highest deaths in long-term care under COVID. Yeah, these are totally the people I want running the system and making decisions about the system that are going to impact me, my family, whether it's right now or decades from now. So once again, here's the latest chuckle fuck, Aaron O'Toole saying, oh, well, you know what? We need to find efficiencies and it, your provinces need to be allowed to innovate. That should set off alarm bells in every Canadian's head. And yet, one in three of you are going to vote for these assholes who are going to negatively impact your health. And I hate that this is something that comes up in every goddamn election. Whether it's provincial or federal, it's always a conservative who beats this dead horse. And it's always a conservative government that does its best to try and privatize something that Canadians don't want privatized. Get the fucking clue already. 
Wake up and smell the maple syrup. We don't want this. Stop pushing this notion. But unfortunately, as I've pointed out, you're not going to do that. This is your shtick, and that is what's bothering me today.